In this video, we will see the basic function of the AT102. The AT102 from Schiller is a 12-channel ECG that has an LCD screen that allows the visualization of the 12 leads, a complete alphanumeric keyboard with direct function keys, and a thermal printer. To turn on the AT102, press the On button. Once the AT102 is turned on, we can observe the screen. The display on the screen will vary depending on the task that is being performed. Keeping that in mind, the top and bottom line will continuously display the same information. On the top line, we will see the date, time, the name of the patient, and the state of the battery. The bottom line will always display the soft key options. The following is specific for ECG acquisition only. Heart rate, electrode connections, sensitivity, speed, lead indications, myogram filter indication, and the area for system messages or instructions. In order to change the paper, press the Replace Paper key to open up the paper tray. Remove any remaining paper from the tray and place a new paper pack into the paper tray with the grid side facing upwards and the black paper mark to the top of the unit. Press the Replace Paper key to return the paper tray in position, then press the Stop key to transport the paper to the start position. Before performing any tests, you must first input the patient data. To do this, press the Patient Data key. When all the entries are made, press the soft key menu to confirm the entered data. You can then select what task you would like to perform using the soft keys. Keep in mind that the spiral option is only displayed when the spiral sensor is connected. The ECG stress and work list soft key options are only displayed when these options are installed. In order to do an automatic recording, press the green start key. To do a manual recording, click the option manual print and press stop when ready. During the manual recording, the leads that are observed on the screen can be changed with keys 1 and 2. Key 3 is used for automatic sensitivity. Keys 4 through 6 are to adjust the sensitivity of the ECG on the screen and on the printout. Keys 7 through 9 are to adjust the speed. The QRS key is used to enable the QRS beeper, and the last key is used to turn the myogram filter on or off. Once the recording is finished, it will be analyzed and the results will be displayed on the screen. The soft key options change at the end of the recording to enable you to save the recording or to obtain an extra copy. Once the spiral sensor is plugged and the spirometry function becomes available, press the patient key and enter the patient data. Then press the spiral soft key to enter the spirometry screen. Select the test and press start. On completion of the test, press the stop key. Repeat as many times as required. Following a series of patient measurements, the best two results are stored along the last test made. These three results can then be printed in graphical or tabular form. To display the interpretation, press the Interpretation On soft key. To print, press soft key print. You will then be given more options. If you have any questions, please send us an email.